I told myself that I was never going to be in the medical field. I said, nope, I'm not going to do it. So I, I went to Southern Adventist University for my first year, freshman year. I thought I was going to be doing engineering, but I decided it wasn't for me. I heard about ADU and I was like, well, it's a good school. I need education. You know, there's small class sizes and everything. And then I just got led into the nuclear medicine program. One of my friends, actually, he's, uh, gonna be, he's at the med program in Loma Linda. And he said, dude, you should try out nuclear medicine because it'd be perfect for you. You know, you're hands on, you like technology and you like interacting with people. So I said, okay. So I applied and here I am today. I didn't know much about nuclear medicine when I first uh, heard about it. So I went to Professor Hawkins. I asked him about it. I said, okay, it's nuclear. What does that mean? Am I going to glow in the dark at the end of the day? Um, so he sat down with me. Professor Hawkins talked with me for about an hour explaining to me what nuclear medicine is, what you're going to be doing. And I thought it was really cool that he would take the time of someone who's not even in his program to talk to me about it. Some common misconceptions about nuclear medicine is obviously the word nuclear. Professor Hawkins, he, you know, he told me, he's like, the government gives out a, a percentage of radiation that government employees are allowed to get each year. And in fact, in nuclear medicine, we only get about 10% of that allowance. And it's a very small amount because there's always precautions. We have lead shielding. We have, you know, we call it ALARA, uh, as low as reasonably achievable. So all those things help us to keep down our radiation level. And it's not that much. Curriculum in the nuclear medicine program it can be challenging at times, but as long as you enjoy what you're doing, you'll get through it. Professor Hawkins and Professor Duncan are really good teachers. They'll teach you everything you need to know. And at this point, they said, we haven't graduated yet. We can almost take the boards because we're that level and I still have a semester to go. Professor Hawkins and Professor Liz told us about the 100% pass rate. Uh, I had not heard about that at the time, but now it's a little pressure engineering wasn't for me and I needed to do something that helps people. I would recommend nuclear medicine because it's like a pathway to up more than just the nuclear medicine. There are a lot more opportunities that you can be a part of if you don't want to stay with doing uh, with patients forever. I know of people who have gone into doing physics, um, They've even gone on to PA because it is a bachelor's here. Some are even decided to even go forward and go into radiology and all those things. Nuclear medicine is a good field because it's just a, it's an open branch to even more. You can even become certified in more things and it's, the field is always evolving. There's always new things, new technologies. Um, I did a research paper about some of the new technologies that are coming out and it's really exciting. Um, Advent Health University, in my opinion, is way better than many schools in the area. Uh, I had gone to UCF and I had gone to Seminole State. Their classroom sizes were way, way bigger. At UCF, I went to orientation and I was just given a number and that was it. I was just, oh, number 68,521, please come on board. It's like, I didn't want to be a part of that. I am I like to think of myself more as a number and Advent Health University it proves that to me and they have smaller class sizes. Being in Advent Health, you know, university and obviously we go to our clinical rotations through, uh, well now Advent Health Hospital. We're able to interact with people of faith-based and you're able to, you, they don't look at you bad if you want to pray with a patient, if you want to take extra time in being with them because there's more focused on the Christ-centered orientation. There have been employment opportunities. I haven't graduated yet, but I was offered part-time job, and that's I haven't even graduated yet. Something I just want you know everyone to know, any potential students for the program is it's a great program.